imaginations not even your thoughts not your dreams not the things you went through in the past not the stuff you're going through now not what um the enemy is trying to tell you all uh, you know god ain't gonna do this god ain't gonna do that god can't she ain't listen god is undefeated there is nothing nobody in this world that can defeat our great god our lord our savior isn't that comforting like that is so good and just bring me so much joy that I am not serving a punk. I'm not serving a wimp. I'm not serving and living for and living with and he's living in me like he's not God is not um like he ain't no wimp. He ain't gonna shut behind nobody and God is undefeated. Do you hear what I'm saying? Get that in your spirit. Get that in your heart. Get that in your mind. God is simply undefeated. He is all powerful. That right there tells you that he can never lose. Like he's undefeated. He has all the power. And then Satan still has to go and ask the Lord, can I afflict this person? Can I do something to this person? Can let me just like he did Job. He had to go ask. Like Satan can't do nothing on his own. He has to go ask and get permission from the God that we serve. And God will be like, yeah, go ahead and, you know, go ahead and do that. Watch and see how they serve me. Watch and see how they fall into my hands. Watch and see how the love that I have for them will bring them so good into me that you and your little stuff won't even matter. Like, how awesome is that? How awesome is that God is undefeated? Satan still has to go and ask God for permission to do anything to the children of God. And God be like, okay. Or he'll be like, nah, they ain't ready yet. Or nah, we're not going to do this. Like, all powerful, undefeated. I am so, oh my God, I'm just so glad. I'm so glad for God. Welcome to Morning Queen Inspirations. <laughs> well, we're going to give you some information. Information. We're going to give you that too. But we're going to give you some insight inspiration and some encouragement to help you have a better than great day you got to put it all together to help you have a better than great day it is monday the last monday of 2020 it is december 28th i'm still excited just as i was way back in i don't even remember when this started was it june may april i don't know but listen as excited as i was back then i'm even more excited now y'all this is we getting down to the end of the year. We are getting down to the end of some processes that we've been going through. I want to tell you, I want to remind you, I don't even know why this commercial came up because it didn't come up before. I want, again, see, that's what I want to talk about. I want to remind you, do not get distracted. This is what the Lord has, has given me this morning. Do not get distracted. Do not get distracted don't oh i wish i could pull it up but um richard Re weaver had posted something on facebook and i'm gonna see if i can get to it right quick because it was so good to me i posted it up and i said lord i needed that because we pay attention 
to so many things. And then let me just get to it. But, but, okay, hold on. Here we go. Let me get to it right quick. Um, let me get to it. <laughs> oh, I gotta listen to y'all. Okay, let me stay on task. Okay, Rick, Ricardo Weaver Sr. This is what he said, and this goes along with what I'm talking about today about do not get distracted. He said, You destroy your own peace confronting everything you peep, just let them have it, let them have that. Because those little things that you keep noticing are distractions. Like those little gnats, like when you're walking outside, because y'all know I like nature. When you're walking outside, you have them little gnats. And if the more you do this, it's like the more they keep coming. The more you confront stuff, just little stuff, the more you confront stuff, the more it destroys your peace. The more it takes your mind off of the things that are important, the more that it takes your mind off of this and off of God. It's going to distract you from everything God. It's going to distract you and the progress the progress that you've made in the the progress that you've made. I'm going to just keep it there. The progress that you've made is going to pull you back and it's, it's going to make you lose ground. So, do not get distracted. Keep up the momentum. Yeah, I know sometimes it get hard and we slip and we slide and we fall back. That's fine. Go right back as soon as you notice it, go right back to where you were. Don't don't wallow in it. Get up. Go right back. Get that focus. Tell the Lord, hey, Jesus, I need some help. Help me because my mind, I'm confronting everything that I peep. I'm confronting every thought that does not need to be there, which takes me to 2 Corinthians 10 and 5. And I had to get this early on this year in my, in my healing progress when it says we can demolish Every deceptive fantasy that opposes God and break through every arrogant attitude that is raised up in defiance of the true knowledge of God. We capture like prisoners of war every thought and insist that it bow in obedience to the anointed one. Every time we get a thought, every time we get a suggestion from, from the enemy of our soul, we need to capture that thing like a prisoner of war every thought. And insist, make it bow in the obedience of the anointed one. Make it bow in the obedience of God. So I'm going to read, um, and this is still 2 Corinthians um, chapter 10, verse 4. And I'm going to read, this is a different translation. For the weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal. They're not this, okay? It's not the flesh. Um, are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, okay? Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. So we're not fighting with this, okay? We are fighting with the word of God. We are fighting with prayer. We are fighting with obedience. We are fighting with um, repentance. We are fighting with relaxing in God and letting him fight our battle. We are fighting in worship. We are fighting in praise. All of these thoughts and everything that we peep, no, distraction, it's a distraction. That's the alarm. It's a distraction. Don't be distracted. distracted. Keep up the momentum. Don't stop. Don't quit. Like I said, we notice like we don't fell back a little bit. That's okay. Reel yourself back in. Get help from the Lord Jesus. I need you. Okay, so you can get right back. Cast down everything, every thought, every imagination that goes against the knowledge of God. That is everything that Satan says that you are, and everything that God said, and everything that God says you are not. Those things will come and bombard you. Rely on the things that God said you are. Okay. Grab hold to that, all right? That'll help you not be distracted. Hold on, y'all. Let me, okay, I just wanted to see where this was. <laughs> okay, um, you're going to see the victory. That's what the song was saying. You're going to see the victory, but you can't stop until you pass 
the finish line. You know, people be like, keep going till you see the finish line. No, because if you keep going until you see the finish line, I can see the finish line almost a mile away. If I got my glasses on, I can see it almost a mile away. But if I'm not there yet, what sense does it make to stop? When you pass the finish line, when you run in and you cross over that finish line and you grab that ribbon, you're finished. You're done. You ain't even got to look back. But keep going forward. Don't even stop there. Keep going forward. Like my sissy poo was telling me yesterday, healing is a progress. It's a process. Sorry. Healing is a process. It doesn't just stop. It continues. You heal from one thing. Oh, thank you, God. Don't stop. Keep going because there's more. There's layers to this. There's layers to a process of healing. There's layers to victories won. You win a, a what, what some people call a small victory here. Baby, it's huge. It's a huge victory. And then you want the bigger victories and then the bigger trophies. Like, that's, that's how I see it. That's how I see it. I, I just want more. I done told y'all I'm selfish in the Lord. Um, keep going. And you have self-control, okay? That's another thing. We have self-control. You know, sometimes we be like, well, I can't help it. Yes, you can. If you are a child of God, if you are filled with his wonderful Holy Spirit, you have self-control. How? How do I know this? The Bible tells you, and um, I believe it's Ephesians. Uh, oh, what's the fruit of the Spirit? I think it's Ephesians. No, that's the armor. I find it. Y'all know what it is. Just listen below. The fruits of the Spirit. What Galatians. It is it's Galatians 5, I think. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Galatians 5. The fruits of the Spirit. Self-control is one of them. So you can control what you... Well, yeah, you can control what you think. You can control what you say. You can control what you feel because the spirit, the fruit of one of the fruits of the spirit, sorry, y'all, <laughs> one of the fruits of the spirit is self-control. We have that, okay? So there's no excuses. There's no excuses, okay? None. We have God. We have the fruits of the spirit. We have the Holy Spirit, okay? We have power. We have this tongue where we can kill and we can cause to live, all right? So, Kill those things that don't need to be. Speak life to those things that need to be. Okay? I love y'all so much. Thank you for joining Morning Inspirations. It was a lot. I was excited. So, you know, that's how I go over here. Reach out to me. Give me that great big old Morning Inspiration hug. I love y'all so much. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Set the tone for the week, y'all. We got like three more days of this year. God is so good. Let us... um. Be joyful. Let us be full of joy. Um, God is here. God is here. He's ever present. And I pray that you remain present in your present because God is present in your present. I love y'all so much. Morning Queen Inspirations. Y'all share the video. God bless you.